The Canadian man dubbed the godfather of artificial intelligence says he is flabbergasted after receiving one of the most prestigious awards in the world. Jeffrey Hinton is one of two recipients of this year's Nobel Prize in Physics, recognized for his pioneering work on machine learning that Hinton has described as both revolutionary and risky. Last year, he left his role at Google, a move he says that's allowed him to speak more openly about the dangers of a technology he warns could outsmart humans. CTV's Adrian Gobriel on the global accolade and the reaction. In the world of artificial intelligence, Jeffrey Hinton spliced the connection between the mind and machine. I'm hoping AI will lead to tremendous benefits, to tremendous increases in productivity, and to a better life for everybody. Hinton transformed the field of AI with his work on neural network models, a computer program inspired by the natural neural structure found in the human brain. I had absolutely no idea that I'd even been nominated. A University of Toronto professor, Hinton and John Hopfield of Princeton University were each given the award for their discoveries, which have enabled machine learning. They were the persons who did the, the fundamental work based on physical understanding, which has led to the, to the uh, to the revolution we see today. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau shared these words, saying in part that Dr. Hinton is a stalwart in this field. Celebrated as one of the godfathers of AI, he brings decades of leading expertise in AI research. Across Canada, Hinton's Nobel nod is also being celebrated by the computer science community. Jeff took those ideas and those concepts and the inspiration from physics and biology and ran with them through what, what was this really weird little idea in computer science that not many people had time for and just with absolute conviction pursued it and made what we have now a reality. Though it's the potential future reality of AI that has Hinton, who left his role with Google's deep learning AI team, using his voice to express his concerns about the path the technology may lead humanity down. Quite a few good researchers believe that sometime in the next 20 years, AI will become more intelligent than us. And we need to think hard about what happens then. Hinton is much more enthusiastic about how AI may help the field of medicine, from assisting a doctor in making a patient diagnosis to developing cures for previously incurable diseases. Omar. Adrian, thank you.